Welcome to today's workout, day 3 of 50 days, 10 minute full body workout. Today is going to be an awesome workout, especially for the hips. So all the power comes from the hip, power from the popo. Today we will do 10 rounds each 1 minute. First hip mobility, then squat mobility, shoulder bridge, then bow, then ship, then sit out, then roll ups, then bridge leg raises, then sit out planks, then bridges. So first we will do some hip mobility to warm up, then squat mobility, right? Then the shoulder bridge where we lay on our back and we bridge to one side, weight is on the shoulder, there's no way on the head, we just bridge on the shoulder. Then we will do bow. I'm gonna explain it thereafter where we just bring our hip forward and head backwards, we bow. We will do some ship where we lay on our back and do some ab workout on our back, back straight, and it will keep on the floor. We will do sit out where we just sit to the side, like so, sit out from wrestling. We will do roll ups, fabulous ab exercise where we just roll up instead of sitting up. So we really activate our abs instead of our hip flexors and round our backs to mobilize that spine. Then we will do bridge leg raises where we go to the bridge and raise the leg one and then the other. I'll turn alternating and uh, then we will do sit out planks so we're just in a push up position and then with the leg to each side boom just from here and then we will do bridges with the head on the floor and then touch the floor with our butt or our back and up again each of those exercises for one minute so it's going to be 10 in 10 minutes so get ready Get ready, get popping, and I'm soon gonna start the timer. Each minute it will hopefully make a beep, because it should, and let's get moving. First exercise, hip mobility, circles, big circles, a couple to the left, a couple to the right, we just mobilize the hip. Ooh, use the whole body around the hip wham 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 and left and right and left and right and left and right a lot of mobility exercise forward and back forward and back forward and circles again yeah big circles big circles move your butt Really explore the extent of your ability to move your hip. Really important hip mobility and strength is almost never ever overrated. The hip is the central point of your body and the strongest point of your body. Squat mobility, so a shoulder width stance and keep your feet flat and squat down. Point your knees towards your toes, it's important. There's two different knee positions. There's sumo, knees pointing towards the toes, and there's ACL tear, knees pointing inwards. We prefer the sumo, right? So we sit straight back, just sit as low as you can, shoulder to the knee, and push, and push, and push, and push, and push, and push, and push. Yeah, try to push the knee off as much as you can, and to the other side. And to the other side, and to the other side, and to the other side, and to the other side. Yes, and now reach, and reach, and reach, and look up to the ceiling, and reach, and look up to the ceiling, and reach up to the ceiling, reach, and reach. Now shoulder bridges on the floor, feet close, and right, and left, and extend your chest as much as you can. Really mobilize that back and that hip. Raise your hip as much as you can. Raise your hip, raise your hip, raise your hip. Trust me, power in the hip will translate to very good results, not only in the ring. Not only in the ring, trust me that. There's other things that can be done where you really profit from great hip mobility endurance and activation 
of the muscles of your hip. Trust me in that one. So go and use your chest. If you have a mobile torn T-spine, thoracic spine, it's gonna translate to harder punches and very good results. Shoulder reach bow. Oh, that's a good one. It's a good one. Put hip forward, activate your abs, head back, you can keep your hands here, raise your chest, hip forward. If you can, take the hands off and look back. Should be hard on your abs. If you can, reach back. Shouldn't give any pain in your lower back. If there is, raise your chest higher. Activate your abs. Breathe. Raise your chest, hip forward. Wow, that's awesome, I love it. Oh now, ship. Yoo Back on the floor, touch your toes. Legs forward, your lower back stays on the floor and activate your abs. Really feel them, feel the burn. If you want to go to a hollow back, raise your legs a bit to push down that lower back to the floor and have maximum muscle activation as hard as you possibly can. Feel that burning sensation. If that isn't enough, raise your hands above your head and keep that back on the floor. Activate as much as you can. Really burn that view. Burn those muscles, burn them. Mm. Activate those muscles, be a ship. Oh, yes. Did a bit too much effort today already. Don't fall into the hollow back. Ship, 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 sit out. On all fours, leg to one side, hand up, and to the other. And to the other side, and to the other side, and to the other side, to the other side, and 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 to the other side. You don't need to rotate, I only rotate so you see what I'm doing. It's just for your pleasure, I wanted to say. <laughs> for your convenience. So you see what I'm doing. Up, 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 up. Hop, 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 Keep, keep, go, go, always keep going, always keep going. Oh, now roll ups. On your back, hands up here, roll your spine up. Straight up and then down. Roll one vertebrae after the other until you lay. You're laying straight on your back and then roll up again. Really round your back and really activate those abs. Crunch, crunch and raise. Crunch tight. Ew. Crunch tight and no momentum at all. Only force, only strength. Nothing but pure, unadulterated strength. So do it slowly. If you really roll, there's no way you can use your hip flexors. Oh, bridge leg raises, that's a good one. So go for a bridge and now call, call. Yes. Just raise the leg. Kick the ceiling. Straighten your leg up. Strength comes from your back. If you bend enough, it's fairly easy. Use your butt and your back. Lower and upper back. Extend your chest, push your head to the floor, 
Bend your back actively. Use the muscles in your back to bend up. And then stand stable and raise your feet one after the other. Uh. What's next? Sit down in the plank. So push up position and just leg to the side, leg to the other side, leg to the side, straight to the side, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and leg straight for your abs and for your adductors of your legs. That's the second last exercise. So the ninth one, only one exercise left after this one. If you're still here, you're good, man. You're good. Keep on, stay with me, keep going. Just a couple seconds, then the last minute starts. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're almost done. Nice exercise, bridges. So yeah, now let's go on your head, butt to the floor and up. Butt to the floor and up. Now it's all hip, it's all hip. Squeeze your buttocks. Squeeze them, squeeze them. If you need to place your head beneath your head for additional stability, if you can, keep your hands up, push your shoulders to your head to support your neck and squeeze your butt, power from your popo. Yeah. That's your punching power. There's your kicking power, there's your marriage power. However you use your hip, you will profit from this one. Oh yeah, does that mean we're done? Yes we are. Wow, that was easy. That was a fabulous workout. How do you feel? I'm feeling a lot taller now, stronger, well trained. Wow, that was a good workout. If you're still with me, good job, awesome job, fabulous. That was good training again. Have a good day. Bless you. See you tomorrow.